Hey everyone, Kevin here with JCR Off-Road. In this video, I'll walk you through how to install our Bronco tailgate table. Now to get started, we're gonna need to get the factory spare tire out of the way. For this, you just need a 19 millimeter socket, or if you have a wheel lock on here, get your wheel lock key out of your glove box, use that as you need to get this tire removed. Now once you get in here, you're going to need to remove both of these black plastic cover panels. It may be helpful here to have a plastic pry tool, but you can start over here where the wiring comes in, work your way down around the bottom, and release the clips along this bottom edge. And then there's just hooks here along the top, so that can just slide right out. And then very similar to that over here on this one, you're gonna to wanna to just work along this edge because there's clips here and hooks over on this side. So get your pry tool behind there, work this side out, and then that can slide free as well. Now once you have this panel out of the way, there's gonna be two electrical connectors right here that need to be disconnected. For those, you're just gonna to need to depress a thumb tab and pull apart on each connection to get those removed. Now, with these wires hanging free, you're gonna to need to come in here and remove this white oval plug style grommet that these run through. For that, there's just gonna be four tabs that you can press in with your finger while pushing out on the plug. That'll pop free, and then you can feed these wires through as well. Now that we have the wiring taken care of, you can come here to the outside, grab a 13 millimeter socket and remove the eight bolts holding the spare tire mount to the tailgate. Now when you get to your last one, just make sure this is supported before you remove that last bolt. Then you can carefully remove this from the tailgate. With that out of the way, we're gonna also need to remove both of these rear tailgate vents. So for that, you're gonna have three clips just behind this seal that need to be pressed in so that you can pop this out of the tailgate. You can also kind of pull this flap out and reach up behind here to assist with that as well. So take your plastic pry tool, you can kind of pull out on this seal and get that started behind there. Try not to damage this seal in any way. And then you're simply gonna push down while pulling out on that vent and kind of work your way across all three clips. Kind of take your time and be careful with these so that you don't damage any of the plastic clips along the way. Then once you get all three of those removed, you can simply pull up and slide this out. The removal process for this bottom one is essentially the same except it gets a little easier since you can just reach through this top hole and press all three of those clips. So at this point, we can begin inserting the nut strips into the tailgate. So go ahead and start by grabbing this flat straight nut strip. You're gonna to wanna to put this with the flat surface facing in toward the vehicle. And then you'll simply slide it down through this bottom vent hole and into this center protrusion. Kind of just use caution as you fish this in, not to scratch the paint on this outside surface. And then you can simply kind of prop that up in there on the foam interior piece, and then open this back up. Now with the tailgate open, you can grab your second nut strip. You're gonna to wanna to make sure both of these tabs are facing up, and then again, the flat surface of the nut strip faces in toward the interior of the tailgate. And then you'll take this through this larger vent opening, you're basically going here just above those electrical connectors that you disconnected earlier. And then you're just gonna kind of work this in. You'll kind of see it come across here and you can help it along with one hand. And then you just kind of might have to flex this just a little bit here as it goes in 
so that you don't catch the paint back here with the back edge of the nut strip. Get that in and work it all the way across. Like so. Now once you have both of those in the tailgate, we're gonna start here with the top one because you can see it's already nicely lined up. You'll grab two of your quarter 20 button head bolts along with the larger steel quarter inch USS washers. And then you'll go ahead and start each bolt into this hole and this hole here. Then once you get both of those started and ran most of the way in, go ahead and make sure that your other three holes look like they're nice and centered on their openings. And then you can tighten those up. Then you'll come down here to the bottom, reaching around through that opening in the outside. You can kind of get a hold of this nut strip and get it lined up with these two lower slots. And then using the same hardware as we had up top, you can start a bolt with a washer into each of the center holes. Then once you have those started, you're just gonna wanna center this up as close as you can from side to side. Make sure you're centered top to bottom as well, and then you can tighten each of these up. Next, we're gonna assemble the table frame. So you can see you're gonna need the pieces I have here. This is gonna be your top and bottom. These are gonna be your side pieces. The way these are gonna install is just like this. So the holes are gonna sit just inside of the formed flanges on your top and bottom. And then this will assemble using the quarter 20 by three quarter long button head bolts, small quarter inch washers, and serrated flange nuts here on the back side. You just wanna make sure when assembling this that all the bolts are running from the inside out. And then you're only gonna be installing bolts into these two top holes here and the top hole here on the bottom bracket. The table is what's gonna install into this bottom hole, so you need to leave that open for now. Next, before we get the table installed to the frame, you're gonna to wanna to install two of these rubber bumpers as well as the latches. So for the bumpers, you're gonna have a hole here and here. You can simply take these, kind of start one edge, apply some pressure and twist them down in. If you're struggling with that at all, you can put just a little bit of lubricant on it. Just make sure to wipe off any excess on the back side. Once you get those bumpers in, you can install the latches. For these, you just wanna make sure this little tab is facing down when it's installed. And then those will get bolted in with the small number five socket cap screws and nylon locking nuts. Now you can just get all this hardware started and you can run them most of the way down and then just leave these loose for the time being until we get the table installed and we can check the tension on those. Then after that, you can go ahead and install the lanyards to the frame using these 1024 by half inch long button heads through this center mount hole with a nylon locking nut here on the back side. Now for these, you're just gonna need an eighth inch hex and a three eighths wrench. And then you'll simply tighten this. You can kind of tighten it all the way up. However, we want this to pivot. So then just back it off ever so slightly, making sure that can move, but doesn't rattle side to side. So now we're ready to install the table portion to the frame. You're gonna start with the molly panel portion. Make sure all these flanges are facing up and in. And then you'll take one quarter inch button head here, going from the inside out. You can put the nylon washer on here so that that'll ride between the table and this flange. And then here on the outside, just underneath this flange, you'll install a quarter 20 nylock nut.
And once you have the hardware started on both sides, you can come back in, use your 5 30 seconds hex, and tighten up all the mounting hardware for this side bracket. And then come down here, and you can tighten these up, again, enough so that they don't rattle, but allow the table to pivot up and down. And then out here on the table hardware, you'll need to grab a 7 16 wrench to hold and possibly turn that nylock nut. And then just like they installed to the frame down here, you can attach the cable to the inside of the table using the number 10 by half inch long hardware with a nylock nut. And again, just tighten these up enough that this doesn't rattle, but can still pivot. Now you just want to make sure when you're installing the cable to the table end that you've got the bolt running from outside to in and your cable is on the inside of this flange. Once you have all that in place, you can close this up and check the height of these latches and adjust them up or down as necessary before tightening them up. So at this point, the table and frame can be installed to the door using all quarter 20 button head hardware with the small quarter inch washers installed. Now, this inch and a quarter bolt is gonna be the only long one that's gonna install in this top center hole. So I'm gonna begin by just getting that through the hole here on the frame and then lining it up here on the door using that as my kind of locating point and then working my way around and installing all the other hardware. Now, one thing we do recommend for all the fasteners going into this nut strip is gonna be a little bit of blue Loctite or medium strength, just to help keep all those in place. Then it's just as simple as lining this all up. and getting all your hardware started. Now it may be necessary to just kind of reach in behind here while you still have this door apart and put a little bit of pressure back on that nut strip as you go to thread each bolt in. All right, so once you have all those in, we can check right here to make sure your wiring is running nice and neatly through the slot. It's not getting pinched between the two pieces of material. And then you can come in and tighten these all up. Now here, you're gonna be using your judgment a little bit, just making sure they all feel snug and secure, but you don't wanna go so tight that you're damaging the sheet metal on your tailgate and causing it to deform. You just wanna allow the thread locker at this point to do the work and hold those in place. Next, we're gonna get ready to put the tabletop surface down in. So before that goes in, you want to grab three more quarter 20 button head bolts with a washer and a flange nut. You'll simply install them loosely into each of these holes. And then the tabletop surface actually has slots that sits down over top of all three of those and then gets pinched in place once that's down in. So go ahead and get all three of those in. Now to get the tabletop installed, you're gonna see three tabs protruding from the back of it here. They'll align with the three slots here in this back flange. This can be just a little bit of a tedious process, but as long as you take your time, shouldn't be too difficult. So you can simply set it down in like this, get those all lined up. And then to start working that in place, you can kind of reach up through the molly side to support that and get it in line. And then working your way along this outside edge using a small screwdriver or a plastic pry tool to protect these surfaces. You can kind of put a little pressure on this table. That'll push the tabs down into the slots here and then allow you to start working the tabletop down in behind this flange. At the same time, you gotta kind of be trying to line that up with your bolts here. Just making sure those are dropping nicely into the slots as well. Okay. 
Hey guys, Kevin here in the JCR Garage. So in this video, we wanted to talk to you real quick about your Bronco tailgate table and specifically installing the table top to the Molly frame. So these are designed to be a tight interference fit and that's a lot of what prevents the rattle once this is installed. That can make it just a little bit difficult or problematic for people as they're getting them together the first time having never done it. So we wanna throw a couple quick tips at you to show you how these go in a little bit easier. You'll want to slide it down in here like this, reaching through from the bottom side of this molly. You can push this up to start aligning the tabs to the slots here. At that same time, I'm applying just a little bit of pressure out here inward so that those tabs can catch in each of these slots. You can kind of work your way across from one end to the other to make sure they all come up and in position. Then you can come out here to this end. And what you'll be looking for is about half to three quarter of material thickness overlap here. So you'll wanna see a little bit of this edge, but you don't want this to just simply drop down in already because then it's not as tight as we're looking for. So applying some inward pressure like this, get yourself something to pry with through each of these tabs or slots. I'm using a punch here, reason being it's a nice round surface. Yes, it's metal, but that rounded face is gonna be less likely to mar up either of these surfaces. So then the more you work at this coming all the way across, you might have to go back and forth a couple times. That right there allowed this end actually to just drop down in. So I'll come back out here to this side. And again, with my pry tool, a little bit of downward pressure from my hand. I was able to get this to drop down in. And then it's just a matter, looks like I needed to push that screw in, of getting this height set where you want it. Double checking that all these tabs are seated nice and tight in there. And then we can tighten these up. Now as I'm tightening these, I'm just checking the height here. You don't want this pushed in so far that you have just this 90 edge poking out. You want just a little bit of that radius up over top of this edge. Once you have those tight, just go ahead and check that everything's functioning properly. Your cables are moving freely. Your latches hook in place. And we can begin to reassemble the tailgate. So we'll begin that by snapping the vents back in place. And those just kind of push down and in and then the tops clip back in. Following that, we can put the spare tire mount back on. This does have a couple alignment tabs here that'll help guide you back into place and then simply reinstall this, reusing the factory hardware. Following that, you can feed these two connectors back through this factory hole and snap this plug style grommet back in place. Then you can come back around to the inside and plug these back in. With those in, you can simply reinstall this door trim cover panel. And that'll complete your install. Now don't forget to check out our detailed install doc as well. And then if you have any questions about this install or any other product we offer here at JCR Off-Road, don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can email us at info at jcroffroad.com or give us a phone call, 269-353-1184.